the problem. A company will invest $100,000 at the end of each year for five years. The investment will earn 7% interest that will compound annually. How much money will this company have at the end of five years? To use the Finance app in the TID4 Plus CE, press the Apps button here. We want number one, Finance. It is already highlighted. Thus, press the Enter button. The screen pops up. We want number one, TVM Solver. TVM stands for Time Value of Money. Number one is already highlighted. Thus, press the Enter button. This screen pops up. These are the variables for the time value of money problems. For this problem, N is for the total number of payments. The number of payments made to the investment is one per year for five years. Thus, N is five. Go down to the next variable, I. You can use the down arrow button or the enter button to go down to the next variable. The interest rate is 7% per year, so enter a seven. Do not enter a 0.07. The TI-84 plus CE will convert the 7 into percent automatically when it does the calculations. Go down to the next variable, PV. PV stands for present value. Leave this at 0. Go down to the next variable, PMT. PMT is payments that the company is investing each period. The company's payments at the end of each year is $100,000. When doing time value of money problems, when taking money out to invest, Use a negative sign. The company's taken out $100,000 at the end of each year for five years, so enter a negative $100,000 for PMT. FV is future value. That is what we're solving for. How much money will the company have in the future at the end of five years? So leave this at zero for now. P slash Y is automatically set to one. PY is payments per year. One payment per year. Leave PY at 1. CY is the frequency of compounding each year. In this problem, we have a yearly compounding. Thus, leave CY to 1. If the interest is going to be compounded monthly, we would set CY to 12. This PMT is when does the company make the $100,000 investment each period, at the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. The company will invest at the end of each year. So leave this at N. This is already highlighted as the default. Now we are ready to calculate the answer. Move the cursor to FV, future value, because that is the variable we are trying to solve. To solve, press the green alpha button here, then the enter button. And there is the answer. At the end of five years, the company will have a total of $575,073 and 90 cents. If you are working similar homework problems, you should clear out each of these variables before you begin your next problem. I will go to the top by using the up arrow button, then put a zero in each of the variables. You cannot leave the variable blank because the TI-84 plus CE will not let you go down to the next variable if there's nothing in the current variable. So place a zero in each of these variables before you do your next problem. Now you're ready for the next homework problem. To exit the Finance app, press the second button here, and then the Quick button here, which is also the Mode button. Okay, same problem, but using the equation for the future value of ordinary annuity with compound interest. Future value equals payment times 1 plus r to the nth degree, minus 1 divided by r, where fv equals future value, PMT equals the amount of payments made each period, R equals the interest rate, N is the number of payments. We can rewrite this equation like this, getting rid of the brackets and using all parentheses. This helps when we enter this into the TI-84 plus CE. PMT is 100,000, R is 0 0.07 for 7% 7 interest rate, and N is 5. One payment each year for five years is 5. Thus, enter 100,000 times, put three parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.07, close parentheses, to the fifth power. Press the caret button here. This will take us to the power position. Enter a 5. To get out of the power position, press the right arrow key. 
minus 1. Close parentheses. Divided by 0 0.07. Close parentheses. We have three open parentheses on the left and three closed parentheses on the right. Now press the enter button for the answer to this equation. And there is our answer, $575,073.90. The same answer when we use the financial app on the TI-84 Plus CE. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.